What's up guys, TC here, and welcome back to Starbound Nightly, and today we got a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, I'm a little bit congested, there's a whole bunch of pollen in the air up here, so I know I sound really nasally and weird, so I apologize for that, but anyways, let's jump right into it. We have a bunch of new weapons, uh, kind of a new weapon category I was talking about in our last episode, and also some changes at the outpost, so uh, let's just dive in. First up, uh, from the last episode, you guys probably remember we had the, uh, the staffs were getting secondaries, and so now uh, I'm going to show you what these look like, because they didn't really have really good... Um, like, their, their art wasn't there. So I'm going to show you really quick. This is the healing zone, which looks really good now. Charged up. Yeah, so now you've got this, like, really, really nicely animated healing zone. When you stand in it, you get healed. Uh, same thing for the repulsion zone. All of them look like this. So we'll do it over here we go. Yes, yeah, so they've all got this really nice, fancy artwork now. So it's really cool. Uh, moving on from there, we have the... I was talking about the one-handed variants of these in the last episode. And so now they're here. With These are the wands. And these are randomly generated... Just like the guns and swords and everything else in the game for the most part. Now the, uh, the, the primary attacks of these, they don't have secondaries because they're one-handed. And the primary attacks are essentially uh, like a little bit weaker, faster charging versions of the two-handed. So you'll see here, charge this up. It's a fireball. Very nice, but again, this means you can dual-wield these things. So here we have the ice swarm. Charge that up. So here you have the ice, like you can shoot these little balls around. And so what it means is you can kind of dual wield magic here. So you could do something like uh, like this. Charge up both staffs. Have both of these attacks going off at once. So yeah, it's actually really, really cool. Uh, it's going to open up a whole new fighting style, I think. It's going to be uh, nice and fun. Um, so after these, we have the... Oh yeah. This is actually pretty cool. I was surprised we got this. We now have a new fist weapon in the game, which I thought they were kind of done with these, but I'm actually happy they have decided to go back and show us some more. So this is called the, uh, the Supernova Gauntlet. And it's essentially it's just like the regular gauntlets, but it's got a power punch in the end. Uh, it kind of like pushes you forward, like that. So yeah, it's weird they're called the Supernova. There's no like, I don't know. When I saw the name in the asset, I thought it would be kind of like fire related. But uh, I don't know, maybe that'll change, or maybe that's a placeholder, I'm not sure. But it's, it's cool nonetheless. It's always good to have new, uh, new fist weapons. Going up from here, we have something really cool to the bows now. So it, as you guys remember, probably in a, I've probably complained about it a few times. But bows have never had a secondary attack, and now they actually do. Now, it's the same attack for every bow, but it's good nonetheless. So, essentially, whenever you have a normal bow, you shoot, charge it up, you shoot the there. But, there's secondary, it doesn't even say it on here, which is kind of weird, but if you aim over, like, to a side, so see there's, like, this wall in the way here, I can't shoot through it. But, if you right-click and hold, you'll see the little dude aims up in the air, shoots up, and it goes over, and it shoots three little arrows. It's called Zen Shot, I think. And essentially it allows you to just kind of like shoot around an obstacle. So wherever you aim it, he'll automatically adjust the angle of the bow and fire three shots. So that's actually really good. And I think it should work. Like, it should probably work all the way over here. Let's see. Should Yeah, should land right here where my cursor is in the corner. Yeah, so that's actually going to be a really cool ability. It'll allow you to kind of hit targets that aren't in your line of sight. Now these next two here are really, really cool. <laughs> these things are... Are pretty badass. Uh, so this is a one-handed rocket. <laughs> oh my god, rocket alarm chair. Um, so it's one-handed, so you can dual wield these things, and it's kind of chargeable. So up to four rockets will come out, or if you just shoot one, do that, or you can do two or three. And so yeah, this is gonna be really cool. Which means if you dual wield these things, you can be shooting eight rockets at once. Now I'd imagine they're not super powerful. But uh, this will definitely be a cool weapon to find. It's a legendary weapon, so it's going to be rare. Now, the next one we have here is... Uh, this is It's kind of weird. It's actually a very similar version to the, the Rocket Alarm Chair. That is, uh, it's, it's two-handed, and this one's energy-based. Now, this one does suffer from uh, no sound effect syndrome, so it's kind of weird. So you see it's kind of weird. But it's, uh, it's got a really high rate of fire with these little lasers. But if you hold down the left click... You'll see it'll charge up, and you can shoot this big blast. So it's kind of like Samus' uh, little arm gun. That's what it kind of feels like to me the most. It doesn't have a secondary, but I think that's kind of it's kind of built-in secondary, the fact that you can charge it. And one thing else I noticed, I'm not sure how long this has been here, uh, but I wanted to point it out. is uh, Some of you guys who are veterans might remember that backpedaling used to be really slow, and now it's the same speed no matter what. So that's actually really cool. I used to hate that, uh, like because it used to be that whenever you'd backpedal, your character would, would move at half speed. Which made it kind of like kind of hard, and it really like lowered the mobility of the game. So, anyways, up next we have to hop over to the outpost. So, one second.
All right, guys, and we are back. So the outpost has gone through with quite a few changes in the last couple days. And what you're going to notice is there's a lot more shops here. However, they're kind of closed down right now. And so what's happening is as you progress through the game, these little shops are going to open up. So this is like Ursa Miner. This is where you're going to buy and sell uh, ore and stuff like that. You'll even see that the little, uh, the little pirate bay out here is even, or penguin bay, is closed itself. Um, there's also a cool one underground now. So after you get the beak easy up and running, this little guy will become active. And this is actually a weapon shop. This is where we're going to be able to buy and sell uh, rare weapons. So I'm not sure what we're going to find. Maybe we'll be able, to be able to buy like random weapons or the pre-generated ones. I do see the, uh, the fire and ice boomerang here. So it leads me to believe that we're going to be able to buy all kinds of like rare and legendary weapons there. Something else that's up is, uh, so you know we used to get our tech on our ship. Now you actually get it from here. So you just go in here, you can talk to this guy, bring him tech chips, and then to get the tech, what's going to happen is he's going to send you to a little instance where you have to complete a little obstacle course using that tech, and that's how you get it. So uh, it's, you're no longer going to get it from sale, you're going to get it from this guy. And yes, yeah, so you're going to see all these shops. The furniture is closed, the... I don't I forgot what this Terramar, I think, is what it was. It's closed, and as you progress through the game, uh, these will open up again. And so eventually, you'll have a fully functioning uh, outpost. And, oh yeah, really quick, I'm sure you guys have been wondering this whole episode, um, what is up with the penguin outfit? Uh, this is not a new race, it's just an armor set, but it's really cool actually, it's like a, a full-size penguin outfit, so yeah, I really, really like it, and it even better is it's dieable. So yeah, like I can look like a Piplup now. Speaking of Piplup, I am super pumped for Pokemon Sun and Moon, I don't know about you guys, but I freaking love Pokemon. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up today's episode guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, please rate, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.